Since I've known Gigi Hadid, since she was a kid, she's always been a woman with goals, and not only beautiful on the outside, but totally stunning, most importantly, on the inside. She understands that in order to be the best, you have to think like you are the best, you have to work the hardest, and you have to make sacrifices. She understands this like no other. It's no surprise to me that since her debut at New York Fashion Week in 2014, only three years later, she has one of the best-selling lines she designs with Tommy Hilfiger. She's graced more covers than anyone can count in all over the world. Gigi pushes boundaries. In fact, she makes new boundaries and she's authentically herself. She's inspirational to me, and she's inspirational to all women. But most of all, she is my friend. When I see her, I sometimes still see that blushing kid with big dreams and big hopes. She said it best, no one wakes up feeling like woman of the year. But when we come together and use our voices collectively to lift each other up, women everywhere can reach their highest potential and your potential is limitless. Everyone give it up for 2017 Glamour Woman of the Year, Gigi Hadid. Hi, everyone. Hi. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, whew, I'm just going to start um, with some thank yous. I don't want to bore you guys, but thank yous are really important to me because I'm so touched um, by, by everyone that makes the days that have added up to the life that I get to live. And Serena, I just want to say you have been such an inspiring force and beautiful light in my life for so many years. And I can't tell you how honored I am to call you my friend and that you're here tonight. Um, I love you so much. So thank you. Um, of course, this is Amazing. Um, thank you so much to Glamour and to Cindy and to Condé Nast for your incredible support over the years. I'm overwhelmingly humbled and honored to be here with all these amazing women. I can't believe it. Um, yeah. Thank you, Kareen Reutfeld, Stephen Gann, and Tom Ford for my first chances in high fashion. Um, and for all the opportunities since. Thank you to Anna Wintour for your unmatched support. It's an honor. Um, thank you to Jeremy Scott for letting me open your first show in 2013. Um, thank you to Leo Chavez and my Maybelline family for signing me at 19 in our most recent endeavor, which is uh, GGX Maybelline. It's amazing. Um, my makeup production team, Luigi and Nyong'o, for shooting the campaign. To Tommy Hilfiger for being the most amazing mentor and business partner. To the internal family and the Tommy X GG design team. To Michael Jensen and Trey Laird for the four campaigns. Thank you to Donatella Versace for your friendship, for bringing me into your world and letting me be part of your family and for being a true part of my fashion family. To Stephen Mizell, Mario Testino, Patrick DeMarchelier, Bruce Weber, Inez and Benoud, Mario Sorrenti, Stephen Klein, Sebastian Faena, Carl Lagerfeld, DBF. I have so many people to thank, but I can't miss anyone because I am so grateful. Um, Angela Massoni, Olivier, Mark Jacobs, Anna Sui, Edward Anfel, Emmanuel Alt, Stefano Tonki, Glenda Bailey, Katie Grand, Giovanni Bianco, Tony Goodman, Carlene Cerf, Anna Della Russo, Ed Razik. You all make my dreams come true. Um, and it's a privilege to be such a small part of your creative worlds, and you all have a special place in my heart. To Stuart Weitzman, to Susan Duffy, and my design team, and mostly to, the pen to Pencils of Promise for giving us the platform um, to build three schools last year, and at the end of this year, we'll build another three schools. Um, so thank you, Pencils of Promise. Um, to my Vogue Eyewear team, to the Messica team, to my glam family who gets me ready in more ways than hair, makeup, and styling. They're my friends, and um, they're powerful people with great energy. 
to my IMG family, to Louise, my manager, um, who's the greatest manager in the world, and I think that far beyond business, you have masterminded my career, but you have also supported me in ways that I think a lot of girls aren't lucky to have. So I really appreciate that. Um, um, to my amazing family whose spiritual and emotional support of me through my life has been my backbone. Um, my dad, who was a refugee from Palestine, and my mom, <laughs> who was just a Dutch farm girl, and they worked so hard to make their dreams come true, and I hope that you know that I honor you in my work ethic. And I'm so grateful to, for, the, for the life that you gave me and for never letting my privilege be an excuse um, and that you always, you know, taught me your work ethic and I, and I feel very grateful to be your daughter. Um, now this is what I lastly want to say. I think my biggest responsibility standing here to all the young women that are watching via social media and everyone that's up there, if you guys are still here and haven't left yet. <laughs> Hi. Um, I, I want to let you know that just because I'm standing here winning this award doesn't mean that I have it all figured out. I'm so grateful for every opportunity, but that doesn't mean that I wake up feeling like the Gigi that the world expects me to be on a daily basis. And if you don't feel strong every day, that's okay and it's normal. And every day, something new can inspire you and a small thought or idea or action can change the course of your day, your week, your month, your year. You're never alone and you're never stuck no matter how down you feel. Find what puts a pep in your step, react to what's inspiring you by setting that into motion creatively or otherwise. Wear something crazy, go on a walk at sunrise, donate your time to charity, spend the day printing out pictures of whatever and make a binder of the hotel you ho hope to own one day or the charity you hope to start. Um, whatever makes you excited about your day is important and your dreams are more powerful beyond the mater materialization of them. What helps me through stress, anxiety, pressure, mentally is looking up to other strong women and feeling empowered to change my day through celebrating them. Our success is never just about us, it's also about all the women that paved the way so we could be here. It's about the women we surround ourselves with and the characteristics we value, the inspiration and motivation women everywhere can, can give us to be better. So tonight, I celebrate all of you being honored and celebrate women all over the world. You help people everywhere to think, yeah, I can do this, whatever this may be. And you are amongst the women that inspire me to better myself and to seize my life. So thank you and remember that we're stronger when we celebrate each other.